happy 2016. As this is January, I thought of a project which uh, includes a calendar because this time of year, you know, you get a lot of free calendars. This one came from my insurance company. So I want to make a junk journal using a complete calendar. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut all my pages right here at those the binding line and I'm also going to cut off this little hole here and I see you in a minute. As you can see things didn't go exactly as planned. I really wanted you to be able to follow along step by step as I make this little junk journal but my camera just didn't record. Uh, probably my fault but well I like to blame it on the camera but I just hope it's not a bad omen for 2016. Anyway, I will um, do a little flip through of my junk journal and then I will show you in details how I folded all the calendar pages, how I did the binding and so on. So I hope it still will be a video you will enjoy. I went for a simple, little bit rustic, grungy kind of look. Uh, so on the cover I used four images. You know, at the end of the calendar you always find these tiny images. So I used them for the front cover as well as for the two inside covers and um, I used all the 12 pages from my calendar but I folded them in different ways. Some super simple little pockets here, then I have a pocket here and whenever there was not a pocket I po put some post-it paper so you have another one here. Now I uh, choose pockets which need no cutting, only folding and a little bit of gluing. So I will show you how to fold each of these. And there are some big pockets here. And then, oops, there's already something there. Big one there and a small tug here. And another post-it. And then the folds will repeat themselves a little bit. Now, <clears throat> as you saw earlier, in my um, journal I used um, a calendar with landscapes which I think uh, works out really well because it still looks really pretty and so would uh, flowers or clouds or doodles or anything like this. Now if you would have a calendar with big images like a big animal it might not look quite as appealing because you will only get little bits and pieces of the image. But again that's completely up to you. I just love the idea of using a whole calendar and just making a junk journal out of it. It gives great colors, I think, and it was a lot of fun. So anyway, back to the cover. I choose a very simple cover. Many people use this to bind um, greeting cards. It has this little indentation here, so the cards can just get simply tied up with ribbon or yarn, and that's what I did with my calendar sections. But I didn't use greeting cards for the cover. I used two pieces of cardboard from a cereal box. I covered it with crumbled up brown paper bag. I distressed it with a little bit of shoe polish and also with my brown pit pen. Where is it? Here it is. And a few homemade sprays just to give it a little bit of color. And um, But then I decided to cover it all with Mod Podge too just to make sure these little pictures stay put. Oh yeah, on the front cover I added a little bit of white acrylic stenciling. So, <clears throat> let me show you how I folded the individual calendar pages. Um, of course mine were rectangle, but the same thing would work if your calendar pages happen to be square. So I'm just using some normal printing paper just to show you the different folds. Most start just like this. You get a crease going both ways. So I made four of the calendar pages this way where I just get two big pockets like this. But of course you could slit them here and then have more pages or more pages for journaling because the calendar pages would be more or less white inside. So that would work. Now from here you can go on and I, I made two of the pages this way where I folded corner on the bottom 
and one on the top. Now if you use the bottom right hand and the top left hand and you fold it over like this, you will have one pocket in the front and one in the inside. If you use different corners, you'll still get two pockets, but they will be in a different position. So that would be two different ones I made. Let's get a fresh piece here. All right, and then I did one this way, where you fold it in half, then you fold it towards the middle line, and the same here. All right. Open it up again and just put the corners on the first line, like this. And you do the same on the bottom here. And here the same. And then you fold it to the inside like this, turn it over, and fold them back to back, and voila, you have two pockets, one here, and one on the other side. So I made two like this as well, and then, let's see, then I made one like this. For most of them, you have to post, fold them both ways. You do, you fold this down to, it's really up to you how high, how low. So you're basically creating a top pocket and a bottom uh, tug, and then you fold it backwards. Now, of course, you can fold them also this way. Then you have the pocket inside as you like. In my case, I did it this way. Now, of course, you will have to glue here and you will have to glue here to make sure the pockets is down. On this one, really, you don't have to glue anything unless you want to glue the flaps in, but they're not going anywhere. The same here. But this one, you would have to do a little gluing. And then I did uh, one more, I believe. Yeah. yeah. All right, now this one, you fold it again to where you have a crease for the middle, oops, but then you use one of the ones you've already made as a little template to show you how far you could fold this in. And you also give it a crease on the top and the bottom, then you can take this out. Now what I like to do, I go like this, fold it over now. I have a guideline to know how far to fold this. I'm folding it this way. I turn it around and now you have the fold to know where to fold this. And you have the fold here as well. Okay. So now you have two folds here, like little pockets. And you have two here where you have to glue this shut. Those are the three, four, and where was the fifth one? Oh, I think I used this one. That was just a simple. So I made two each of these and two of the other folds. And then I just bind them in here. You just tie them up right in the middle. Now I used a little bit of tape to just strengthen them a little, but you really don't have to do this. Anyway, I thought this was a fun little uh, junk journal. It's pretty quick. It's a fun project. It's very simple, especially for people who may not do a lot of bookbinding. And well, bye bye for now.